My name is Tara Cordy Simpson and welcome to the Biology 11 video lesson on the five fingers of evolution. Last week, the Biology 11 students in period four watched the five fingers of evolution by Paul Anderson and then recreated their learning on the whiteboards. If you want to watch the video again, please view the five fingers of ev evolution on the unit B playlist on the C S Psy channel on YouTube. So there's just some instructions before we get started. As you go through this presentation, please take a look at all the whiteboards and think about, did the other groups have similar definitions as your group or were they slightly different? Did the other groups have similar examples as your group or were they different? Or did you forget to include any examples on your whiteboard or at all? And what changes would you make to your board if you were given the opportunity to recreate it? As you go through the following presentation, please fall in the video summary notes on from the teacher blog or create your own video summer, summary notes. Now this is the original thing that I posted on the whiteboard, the five fingers of evolution. So we've got genetic drift with small populations, artificial selection representing non-random mating, mutations, gene flow, and of course natural selection, which has to do with adaptations and fitness of organisms, which we're gonna talk a little bit further about in the following classes. So here's group number one's board. I'm going to pause for 10 seconds on each board. If you'd like to look for each board longer than that, then just press pause in the video feed and you'll be able to stop and look for it as long as you want. Okay, group number two. Group number three. Group number four. Group number five. Now the middle finger here is representative of trying to remember the middle finger for mutations, having a longer middle finger. Group number six. Group number seven. Group number eight. And group number nine. I'm sorry this slide is a little bit blurry, but take what it, from it what you can. Okay, now that you've seen all the whiteboards, are you able to name the fingers of evolution and provide definitions for each? Can you provide examples for the five fingers of evolution? If you're going for the 100%, please do additional research about examples that are not in the textbook or mentioned in class. And if you have any questions, we can talk about it in class tomorrow. Thanks for watching.